ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme Video. This is for the 23rd of January for Wednesday morning. It is a cloudy, uh, kind of a chilly and damp morning across the state. Let's go to some Skycam shots and a little foggy out there in spots as well. From the uh, Daniel Building downtown, you can see the low clouds hovering over the city. Readings are mostly in the uh, low 40s and upper 30s now. From uh, Gadsden, a little foggy down below there. Readings in the upper 30s in Gadsden. Kind of a cool shot there from the Demopolis camera. Looks like a uh, barge coming north up the Tom Bigby, coming around the bend down there near the Lock and Dam early this morning about 5 o'clock. Water vapor satellite imagery, you can see that uh, trough coming down across the northern plains there and the Rockies, the axis from near Bismarck down to Salt Lake City, and that's going to pull down some really cold air in here tomorrow. But in advance of that, today will be just uh, cool with highs in the upper 40s more than likely. There's a look at the uh, cold air to the north. And you can see that we've got uh, readings in the single digits down into parts of Missouri. That's not that far away. And a really sharp thermal boundary there just north of Memphis. Uh, you kind of go from the uh, upper 30s in North Alabama down to the teens in North Arkansas. And that boundary is going to come on down here tonight and set the stage for a really cold day tomorrow. We'll look at model output. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today. And the level here is 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Big upper level system out there on the west coast, and there's our trough across the uh, northern plain states. At the surface, very cold air covers the uh, northern part of the country, and uh, we'll kind of watch that moisture down to the southwest of here over southwest Mississippi and Louisiana. We'll go to midnight tonight. And the GFS uh, brings in a chance of rain primarily over the southern half of the state in advance of the Arctic front. And that would be from Clanton on south. That would be all rain. The NAM is a little more aggressive with the moisture and a bit far northward. And that would suggest some rain tonight, uh, perhaps as far north as US 278 or as north as Coleman. But again, uh, the... Uh, the cold air is just north of here. We don't think there'll be any issues with freezing or frozen precipitation with that. We'll mention a chance of some light rain tonight. And then tomorrow, the story is the cold air. Cold air advection blowing in here. Highs only in the upper 30s, a strong north wind. Moisture shunted down to the far southern part of the state. The sky should become mostly sunny. And then Friday will be a very cold morning. A good chance we'll hit the upper teens in many areas. And then during the day, we'll warm up to uh, close to 50, upper 40s to near 50. And again, there's that next wave off to the west. We'll go to Friday night at midnight, a little light precipitation showing up here. And uh, the thickness values would not support any snow with that. But uh, like we had yesterday morning, there could be a little sleet at the onset of that and maybe a few spots of uh, light freezing rain up in the uh, High terrain of northeast Alabama, almost identical to the situation we had yesterday. For most folks, it's no issue. And then we'll go into midday Saturday, and that suggests a pretty good chance of showers there. So a, uh, a decent chance of rain at times. Uh, Friday night and Saturday, maybe beginning as a little mix of sleet and rain with that, and maybe a bit of freezing rain for the high terrain of northeast Alabama. Now, Sunday, the model is kind of struggling and giving us a little madness here in the Sunday-Monday time frame on this run, a ridge pumps up in, in response to the big trough on the West Coast. And the first thing that's going to mean is going to be much warmer. We're talking readings up in the 60s, and now the model suggesting it will be dry. It has uh, totally gone the other way and taken out the chance of showers. Now, we're not you know what I'm going to say. We're not going to change the forecast based on one run, but if the 12Z run comes in and confirms this, we'll probably – Drop the chance of showers on Sunday, and even Monday looks dry now. But, boy, look at the storm rolling out to, from that big trough out west. 976 millibar surface low north of International Falls with a uh, band of showers down below that. And then Tuesday, the trough is north of us, and at the surface, the band of showers comes on in here. So on this run, we've got that chance of rain Saturday, 
The run would suggest no rain and very mild on Sunday and Monday, and then a band of showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday. And then Wednesday of next week, still uh, that looks dry with the moisture shunted down to the south. Now, Thursday of next week, this is the 31st of January. Look at that big trough rolling in here. At the surface, a uh, warm front moves northward. That looks awfully wet. And then on Friday, the 1st of February, surface low near Kentucky around Louisville and another good rain producer, if this is right. The model has been very consistent now in advertising some type of good rain event there around Friday the 1st. So we'll sure take that. We'll go deeper into uh, the month. This is the 7th, and I uh, got a trough approaching from the west, and that looks uh, perhaps relatively wet, maybe icy in the northern periphery of that. But, again, uh, we're it, it's tough enough figuring out what's going to happen uh, this weekend and early next week, and on that we'll just have to uh, wait and see. But the pattern looks active. That's the one thing I think we can promise here, changeable. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.